Tiffany Payne is a businesswoman, um, easygoing, introvert, um, you know, well, somebody that's in the entertainment world, as everybody knows. But the real Tony, Tony, Tony is somebody that just likes to chill. You know, I like to stay home, watch TV, watch movies, hang out with my son, um, hang out with my family, work, work, and work. That's who Tony Payne is. Um, Tony Penny, yes, Tony Penny is my new name. Um, Tony is short for Antonia. My full name is, um, or names, um, Antonia Olua Champagne. Um, I've kind of been in the entertainment world since maybe like 2000, no, like 99, 2000. Um, I started um, the first online magazine um, called NigerianEntertainment.com and then we interview everybody, like do features on music, movies, um, you know, features on artists, anything that has to do with the Nigerian entertainment industry, we were on it and that was like before everybody else kind of jumped on that same bandwagon, like then we now have, um, we have a lot of music blogs out there, we have a lot of um, movie websites out there, but before all of that we started nigerianentertainment.com and that was pretty much how my journey into the entertainment world started ah growing up was very simple um i come from a very close-knit family we love each other very very much um so growing up was very fun we, you know all the kids had each other's backs you know during holidays we'd visit everybody be at my grandmother's and we play 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 wrestle 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 um growing up we did a lot of traveling um i spent half and half you know shuttling between america and nigeria so growing up was actually not bad you know um I'll say I enjoyed my childhood, you know. Um, in terms of my education, um, I studied video digital art um, at California State University, Northridge. And um, hmm, video digital art is what you would define as in Nigeria, let me see, um, maybe filmmaking, directing, um, just kind of like that industry. Um, it's a form of art, so it was called video digital because once you convert it into your DVDs and your VCDs, it becomes digital, so video digital art, and that was what I studied um, while I was in school. Um, yeah, um, I used to manage um, Olamide. Um, Olamide is a very, very good artist, very bright. Um, at that point when I was managing him, um, that was when a new duo came out, and it was like, you know, it was starting up. It was fun, it was challenging. Um, we reached an agreement, you know, kind of to stop after some time because, you know, obviously I wanted to do my some few things on my own and he was also like, okay, he has a label or had a label then um, that was backing him. So he was fine and, you know, I felt he was in good hands and, you know, if, if I was needed for advice or if I was needed for anything, I was just a phone call away. So there was no issues per se. I know a lot of people have said, oh, something must, it doesn't always have to be like that, you know. People actually do quite amicably without punching themselves in the face. <laughs> right now, um, if you are on Twitter or internet or if you read enough newspapers, um, you'll see that right now I'm, I'm working on um, like a little art movement, um, doing some poetry. Um, I've been performing spoken words. I've been, you know, writing a lot of poetry, and I think. Um, the decision to actually move forward with that was one, I had put out a poem and the reception was wonderful. A lot of people downloaded and I saw the number of downloads was like reaching like the high 20 upwards, 20k, 30k and I was like, oh shit, okay. <laughs> I like it. A lot of people say there's no place like home. But at Limelight Hotel and Suites, we have a place that's just like home. Limelight Hotel and Suites is located in the serene and homely countryside of Agoiwoye, Ogun State. Limelight Hotel and Suites offers you nothing but the best in hospitality and facilities that you will not find anywhere. We have three bars, an oriental restaurant with a guarantee of uninterrupted power supply, and reliable internet facilities, not forgetting our ATM machine and POS terminals to give you the ease of cashless fun. Come relax and retreat into the calm embrace of Limelight Hotel and Suites. For more information, log on to www.limelighthotel.com or email us on info at limelighthotel.com or call us on 0807-097-1904. Limelight Hotel and Suites, taking you to the limelight. This, you know, so I just thought like, okay, you know what, they always say, oh, Nigerians, we don't like to read or we don't appreciate the arts. It's only for the elite. That is not true. And 
I think um, if it was the fact that it's only elites that appreciate the art, I don't think I would have had that many downloads. And some people would be like, okay, it's because it was you, Tony. I don't think so. The poem that I'm going to be reciting right now um, is one of the first few ones that I wrote. It's called, I Should Have Known. I met him in the city of angels, fresh out of school, he was taking the course. His smile so divine, I was glad when he became mine. And then I let him go. I should have known it was you. The formal introduction was so simple. My corporate guy loved the way he rocked that suit and tie. The one whose eyes smile when around me. The one who's there when they say it's around me. I was naive, maybe a bit foolish. I trusted in words, was a bit impatient. I should have waited for his next move. As time went by, it just happened. Got carried away by the sweet words of another. Now you are gone, but definitely not in the arms of another. Your heart not guarded, I sit and ponder. I should have known it was you. Your soft voice when you address me. Your warm touch when you undress me. The taste of your lips mm -hmm, when we kiss. Those are some of the things that I really miss. Um, yeah, so that was I should have known. Um, the inspiration behind um, I should have known um, was very simple. Um, it's just, you know, we all go through the whole, okay, I love somebody and then, you know, maybe an ex-boyfriend or something like that, you know, and then maybe you get back with that ex-boyfriend or maybe you don't. So, you know, that back and forth relationship is pretty much, I just wrote it, you know, I was just writing, penning down ideas and it came to, um, it came to mind. With music, we tend to draw far away from lyrics. We tend to move towards beat, 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 and we miss the point of music. Music is not just beat, beat, beat. It's about listening to good lyrics, music that touches your soul, that touches your heart, words. Words, they say, are very powerful, you know. Um, my first poem that I put out was called Dare to Question Love. And when I put it out, a lot of, even men were crying. <laughs> um, I just recently performed at Straight Up Hip Hop. Um, Straight Up Hip Hop is a now music um, project. Um, NT, I'm doing NTFS, um, Loud and Proud concert. Um, just different places. I did Word Up um, at Unilag. Um, yeah, different, different places. I'm doing, um, I have some scheduled radio interviews in America as well, in respect to the poetry. You know, um, I'm doing um, AF, oh God, AFM radio, I think it's called, in Ohio. So we're going to showcase, they're going to showcase my poetry and do a little interview and talk about it and what I'm trying to do with, um, you know, the whole movement. Um, in the industry, um, let me see, um, I've always admired Fumi Yoda, I like her a whole lot because she's very, very, she's extremely hardworking, she's vivacious, she's fun, um, that's in the Nigerian industry, um, entertainment wise. Let's say out of Nigeria, I'm a big fan of Oprah Winfrey, I want to be like Oprah one day, whoop, 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 whoop. <laughs> yeah, I want to be like Oprah, you know, one day, you know, like a big, you know, big dog in the entertainment industry. Like, she's actually doing things, she's innovative, she goes from one thing to another, she doesn't stop. And that's what I wanna do. I wanna just keep moving and keep moving. And when I'm 50, I'm still there doing something different, something innovative. Maybe I'll be managing Zion, who knows? <laughs>